Hello and welcome to your 26th Minecraft Forge modding tutorial for Minecraft 1.4.7. This is SciGuy1121 and let's go ahead and get started. So in the last tutorial I talked to you about how to add custom dungeon loot to the game and in this tutorial I'm going to talk to you about how to create a, well, how to make a block transparent. Um, so I just want to make a quick side note here. I know I said that I would most likely do a tree tutorial soon um, and I'm well, next, and I'm going to get that out uh, very soon, but that's going to take a little while for me to actually make, and I figured I would make <clears throat> um, a tutorial that was pretty short and useful, and I might as well get that done. So, anyway, um, this, is, this tutorial assumes that you've already created a basic block and you know how to do that, um, and that you know how to create textures, but I've already gone in and created some, well, a texture, uh, pay no attention to this stuff, this is for the upcoming tree tutorial. Um, the This is our new texture, um, it's really, really bad, but it works. Basically I just have um, a transparent block, so if you don't know how to do that in GIMP it's really, really easy, just Google it. <clears throat> um, and then I have a little outline with the turquoise color. So I've already gone in and set the um, texture of the block tutorial or 25 which is that um, texture index and all we're going to need to do to make um, actually I'm going to delete this method because that's going to mess it up. Um, all we need to do to make the block um, transparent using that texture is we want to say public boolean is opaque cube and we're going to return false and what this is going to do is um, it's twofold it's required to make it a transparent block however you do also have to realize that by um, by calling this method, what's going to happen is it's also going to um, disable the ability to place torches on the block and to place redstone um, and anything like that <clears throat> on the block. But it is required to make it transparent. Next we have public boolean render as normal, not normal, normal block, no parameters, and here we're also going to return false. Now this method is a little bit uh, self-explanatory, basically, since it's transparent it is no longer a normal block and we have to tell the game uh, that it needs special rendering code. So if we run the game um, and we let it load, <clears throat> Then if we go into single player, um, I have a lot of new worlds because I'm too lazy to name stuff. Um, here's our new biome. If we go down, you'll see that we have our tutorial ore. And if we place this down, um, it functions as the normal block, but it's completely... Um, I'm trapped. It's completely transparent as it should be. Now you'll also note um, something I'm noticing is that the side seems to be transparent but if we put down glass you'll see that that's the case also with glass. So it's not a glitch with the code um, that's just how Minecraft handers, handers it. Handers it. Um, that's how the game han handles rendering. So you can see it looks pretty decent. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. Um, I've been working on setting up the um, the tree tutorial mini series. So the first part of that should be out pretty soon. Um, I haven't actually created it yet, but I want I want to get that done pretty soon. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you next time. Bye.